Hi there. This is the first video for your second online assignment. So trying to decide whether or not sample data may follow a normal distribution is a pretty important idea. So we'll see that later on this trimester. It's always good though to first graph your data to see if the distribution is symmetric. And to see if it trails off both to the right and the left. If the data have a mean and a median that are close in value, that's another characteristic that's indicative of normality. Symmetric data have a mean and median that are very close, so if not exactly the same. Also, by the empirical rule, we know that 68% of normally distributed data will be within one standard deviation of the mean. 95% of such data will be within two standard deviations of the mean, and 99.7% of such data will be within three standard deviations of the mean. Now, the TI calculators don't have a built-in command that can check the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule for a set of data entered in the calculator, so we're going to write a simple program to check the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. So to write a simple program, grab your calculator. So on the screen here, you'll be able to see on the left the buttons that I am pressing on this digital TI-84. So this will be exactly the same buttons, the same menu options. If you are using one of the TI-83s, it doesn't matter. Over here on the right then, you'll be able to see a history of the keys that I have pressed. So if you need to go back and make sure that you've got the right values pressed or typed, you can see exactly what I've done by looking on the right here. So to create a new program, we need to press the program button. So again, to create a new program, we want to press the right arrow to go over to the new menu. So create new, that's what we want to do. We'll press enter. So we need to give the program a name. I'm going to call mine emp rule. You may name it whatever you like. You can use up to eight characters. Notice that the cursor has an A in it. This means that the alpha lock is on. So as you press the keys on your calculator, the letters that are above those keys are what will appear on your screen. So I'm going to type emp rule. Here is E M. Let's see, P, R, let's see, where's the, there's U, L, E. Again, you can name it whatever you like. You can use up to eight characters. So once you're done, press the Enter key. When you write a program, every line of the program will start with a colon. Here's our colon. So the first thing that we want to do, we want the program to clear whatever is on the home screen. So into the program, we're just going to put the command to clear the home screen. If you press the program button, you want to select the I.O. menu that stands for input and output. So press the right arrow. And we're going to press the down arrow a few times. We are trying to get to the command clear home. It is command, it is option number eight, command number eight, clear home. So put it into the program by pressing enter. Press enter again, and that will take you to the next line of the program. What the program needs to do is run one variable statistics. By running one variable statistics, it will calculate the mean, the standard deviation, and the number of observations in the list that we have in list one. And that's really what we need to do. So we're going to press the stat button. We've used this option before. So press the right arrow for the calculate menu. The one variable stats is option number one right here. So I'm going to press enter. That will bring that into the program and press enter again will be to the next line of the program. This is fa as far as I want to get in the program for this video. In the next video, we're going to go to the bottom of the handout and we're going to look carefully at the logic that we're going to put into the program that will actually execute the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule. Try the next video.